Hi, I'm Ashwin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to share something about how social media apps like Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and money. So have you ever wondered the apps that you're using every day without any paid subscription, like how they're earning money? Have you ever wondered in this way? If yes, like in this video, you will get to know the answer for that. So, so if you, if you don't know, like Instagram and WhatsApp are now under Facebook. So Facebook bought Instagram in 2012 for $1 billion dollars. And Facebook bought Instagram for $19 billion in 2014. But have you ever paid a single penny to Facebook or Instagram or WhatsApp in your lifetime? No, right. But like how they are earning money. So Facebook initially started um, its services in 2004. So at, at that moment, Facebook is completely a new thing for anyone because no one is uh, really familiar to uh, social media chatting and all that stuff. So people feel excited in the initial days. And yeah, there were many users, many active users on Facebook at the time. So when compared to the present moment, so because of Instagram and WhatsApp, like not everyone is into Facebook now, but still Facebook is one of the most popular app in their beginning era. So they never cared about uh, earning money in the in the initial days. So they don't even have these advertisements at the time. But like how it started increasing the user base and start earning money. So I will tell you how it happened. So Facebook initially grab attention of many people so many so they are like even like once after millions of people have joined facebook they now have the user database and many have climbed that facebook sell the data of their users to other third parties to earn money but uh, i mean we don't know whether it happened or not but still the business model that facebook follows is like uh, getting users attention and once users were habituated on using facebook then ultimately then they can make business out of it. It's the main reason for that is advertisements. So you you can you can enter all the details in your profile. Whether you, um, I mean, it based on your interest. It's like when creating a profile in Facebook, it asks you all the details like your education, your interest, your favorite uh, brands, and everything. So based on that, Facebook. Uh, ad Facebook advertising works. So if if you can search something on Google, so. Immediately, the ad which is similar to that search will appear on Facebook. Do you know why? Because Facebook collects all the data. Uh, Facebook collects all the mobile activity. So it's the reason why uh, Facebook shows you ads similar to what you have been doing in your mobile. So it's how Facebook earns actually. And when even Instagram uh, never collected a single penny from you because Instagram also works in a similar manner. So when Instagram has targeted people based on, um, I mean, it's completely a multimedia based app when compared to Facebook. Facebook, you can find both text and it's, it's completely based on chatting. So the main intention of Facebook is to connect a different kind of people. But the main intention of Instagram is not chatting to share multimedia pics and multimedia videos um in that in your network it's the main intention that how instagram started because of its development facebook acquisition instagram for one billion dollars but now instagram is providing a revenue of more than one billion dollars per day so a great and smart move of facebook uh, by i mean purchasing instagram but still instagram also work in the same manner so if you can see you can also see the same ads which were appearing on facebook on instagram too it's how it works so if you're on already instagram then ultimately, whatever you do on Instagram, whatever you search on Facebook and Instagram will be monitored by the Facebook database. And also whatever you do on your mobile will be monitored continuously. So based on your moment and based on your activities, Facebook will show you ads. And now in 2014, Facebook acquisition um, WhatsApp for you hooping $19 billion just because WhatsApp has the more database and like Facebook uh, CEO Mark Zuckerberg once said like 70% of the people who use WhatsApp, um, I mean, who use WhatsApp, use every single day, which means there are more number of active users in WhatsApp than any other social media in the world. That's the reason why Facebook grabbed, uh, I mean, also grabbed attention of Facebook and ultimately Facebook purchased WhatsApp. And now, what's, and now Facebook has more data than any other social media platform because it has users from Facebook, it has users from Instagram, now it has users from WhatsApp, which has more number of users than any other social media platform. So whatever you do, like if you save a contact in your mobile, then ultimately Facebook knows that. So if someone in your contact will, I mean, created a Facebook account, you will be notified, like your contact is on Facebook, your contact is on Instagram, you will be notified, right? Because 
Facebook initially tracks your mobile data through the WhatsApp. So the main reason why uh, Facebook purchased WhatsApp is like to to get and to I mean to get into your mobile more deeper. So that's the reason why uh, Facebook purchased WhatsApp. So if you can see every day whatever you do, like apart from the chatting, so whatever you put status on, whatever you share information mostly, what kind of information you are sharing, and what kind of of contacts you are with so and it also monitors like your active uh, conversation rate with uh, your contacts so that it can suggest you based on that but if you can see there is a um, there is an issue going on between whatsapp privacy policy and the people like whatsapp also uses your chatting style and chatting behavior and the posting behavior in your status or whatever it might be they can use your behavior to improve their advertising more efficiently it's the privacy policy update that we have been witnessed from uh, feb of this year but yeah if it can happen like ultimately we don't have any other option because like they can also do one thing in the future like if they can charge you subscription based model like if you can only pay 99 rupees per month or 100 rupees per month then only you can be eligible to use whatsapp futures then we don't have other option other than paying it because we are highly habituated with whatsapp so most of our contacts are in whatsapp so it's difficult for us to change our communication mode completely even though there are many other apps like telegram and signal but still we are not that much comfortable with them uh, for everyday communication so but still this is how facebook earns money through instagram and whatsapp so at this moment they use contacts to give you uh, recommendations from whatsapp but yes if that privacy policy is approved they can use your behavior to to give you more personalized and customized ads but it's again a privacy issue because your data is under facebook so whatever you do on your mobile will be monitored by facebook so you are under control of facebook now so it's how facebook earn money so pe- don't think that facebook is not earning anything they are earning through advertisement a lot so advertiser pay you uh, pay facebook a lot more than uh, what you actually think of and yes they use your data to show you ads it's how the business model of any social media any modern day social media platform works they initially offer their services for free so that if people were happy to attend with them then ultimately they can do these kind of things like advertisement and giving suggestions of personalized such as that you do um, in your mobile it, it it is how the revenue model looks like for any other social media app so i hope it will be clear for you now so how social media apps like facebook instagram whatsapp and money so they earn money based on your data so like if something is offered for free offered for free in the internet doesn't mean it is completely free they use all your data to show you ads and they make most out of your data thank you for watching this video if you feel insightful and if you if you feel that this video is uh, i mean gave you some knowledge then please share this video and please subscribe to my channel if you're not already thank you